Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1973 to listen to Tubular Bells Part 2 by Mike Oldfield. This one, of course, is the second side of Tubular Bells, his debut album. Mike was 19 years old when it was recorded, and he played almost every instrument on it. It hit number one in the UK, Australia, and Canada, and number three in the US. All the music was composed by Mike Oldfield, except for the end of the song, which includes part of The Sailor's Hornpipe, a traditional song. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. I'm already floating.
keeps getting me. Reflection. Flying by, that's good. cinematic Melody.
timpani building. Love that. Back to the 70s. Part one. read about those screams.
180 time. <laughs> organs Sadness, solemn reflection, and rock. I don't think we're getting much joy in part two. Nice swirling guitar. major chords are we rising up out of the sadness
feels like a sunrise. There's the joy. Finally. Definitely some Popeye vibes going on there. Wow, this one was pretty different than part one, I must say. A lot happened here, just not what I expected. So we'll start with the first section. I'm calling it the guitar showers section. There were guitars all around me, and for such a long time, it felt like almost half the song. I was loving the vibes, floating in the clouds for sure. Um, later we get this soft, single, angelic female voice. Didn't come in for too long, but I enjoyed that as well. For this whole long section, we have a folky and highly solemn tone going on here. Felt like I was sitting back and watching my life before my eyes, as they say. Really interesting vibe. Um, you know, the music was definitely tugging at my heartstrings, but kind of gently, nothing too dramatic. Stringed instruments tugging at strings. Makes sense. Obviously, it's a long song, but I was pretty surprised that we were staying in these similar lanes for so long, especially for Mike Oldfield. You know, we're almost at the halfway point, and we've been quiet and solemn pretty much the whole time. That was pretty surprising. Then around the halfway point, the first big change up, a much more 70s rock sound, you know, something I'm very used to on the channel now. And, you know, add in all those grunts, I'll call them by Mike. Very surprising. I kind of knew about that in research, but didn't expect it to sound that way. Those grunts were a bit creepy and disturbing, but very, very original. Um, I noticed a nice callback to the extended end section of part one of Tubular Bells with some variations, so that was cool. I'm just going to call that whole section the Grunt Rock Parade. I guess Mike was mad at um, Branson at the time for something that he was demanding, and so he went to the studio to let out some screams, and some of those screams are included here, so interesting that that is forever captured in this song. Then a really big change around the three-quarter mark. I'll call it the organ section. You know, definitely my favorite part of the song. Plenty of beautiful organs all around me. Uh, the organs were as warm as soft sunshine. I love the tones. Also some awesome guitar work going on around me to accompany those beautiful organs and keep my attention throughout that whole long section. Really nice. Then before we know it, the sailor's hornpipe barges in, takes over, and says, this is where I'm going to leave you. Wow, what a contrast in the end section there. We finally get some joy. Definitely a big resolution to all that deep, solemn music in most of the song. It was so fun. It was so lively. The tempo kept getting faster, faster, faster. Wow, such a different vibe to leave us on. It's almost like waking from this deep dream and simply realizing, oh, life is great. On first listen, I would say that I definitely like Tubular Bells Part 1 significantly more, but there was many great moments here, several beautiful melodies going on. He had plenty of time to get his ideas across. And as always, I'm sure I missed a lot, and I'm sure I'll pick up more on subsequent listens. 
So a nice way to round out this album and the journey. Really interesting stuff. He always gives us great musicianship and so much creativity. For now, I'm going to give this five golden records an A score for Tubular Bells Part 2 by Mike Oldfield, 1973. So thank you to everyone who worked on this amazing album. Excited for so much more from this artist. Thank you so much, Mike Oldfield, Steve Broughton, Lindsay Cooper, John Field, Mundy Ellis, Sally Oldfield, Vivian Stanshaw, The Nasal Choir, and The Bootleg Chorus. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this song or part one. I would love to know what you think. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Oh, 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 oh,